y'all. This your girl go mild. Coming at you guys to tell y'all guys, yes, I am fat. <laughs> it's official. I'm fat. And I don't even know how to feel about it. You feel me? I don't know if I'm sad about it or <laughs> or what because I feel like I'm not upset that I gained so much weight. This time I for real, for real gained weight. Y'all know. Y'all been following me. I've been through a lot with cancer and my chemo, radiation, and all of that. And just going through treatment in itself, it just promoted me to gain weight. This is the biggest I have ever been in my whole entire, entire life. Like, for real. Even going through pregnancies, full babies, and all of that. I ain't never been this heavy. Y'all can see I got jello arms, like, a whole lot because I had lost so much weight. I didn't come on when I was skinny, y'all. I had lost so much weight that all the weight that I had left was pretty much skin. And I'm keeping it real with y'all. <laughs> uh, it just is what it is. I'm um, fat and bad body now. Well, I ain't all that bad body. I'm still like fat and fine, but I just got a lot of weight that I need to get rid of. Um, for one, I can tell you guys, I've been scared to lose weight because um, so much was going on with the, with the chemotherapy and stuff, and they, when I was getting chemo, they was telling us to eat, 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 don't lose weight, because, you know, you can get sicker if you lost weight, so my mentality kind of changed with, with that, and so I kept doing it, even after the chemo, I was still eating, because I didn't want to get sick, I don't know, it was just like, had being small was like a sign of weakness, so... I just continued to eat, you know, not that I was eating junk, but I was eating a lot, like, okay, I'm scared to lose a pound, I'm scared to lose a pound, but I'm like, when do I stop? Do I go up to 300, 400, 500, 600? <laughs> I'm for real, y'all, I'm for real, I'm so for real, I don't, I was like, I don't know what I need to do, should I eat or should I not eat, and when I talked to my dog, they didn't they be like, well, this, at least you're not losing weight every time I step on the scale. At least you're not losing any weight. And I'm like, how big y'all want me to get for real? <laughs> so, as a result, y'all see, I'm going to show y'all this belly in a minute, y'all. I'm kind of ashamed to show y'all because y'all used to me looking a certain way. But it's all good because y'all saw me when I was bigger, back when I was doing hip-hop abs. And I think that <laughs> I can't, I'm not physically able to do hip-hop abs right now. I wish I because I would actually do it and bring more videos. Um, I know a lot of you guys know I was like, had a copyright strike on my channel from Hip Hop Apps, but it wasn't because I was talking about it. I think they said it was because I played it in the background one time or I actually did the moves. I don't have to do all of that and still can tell you about it because I know they did me dirty, but it was a good workout DVD for me to, to help me lose my midsection on. Um... And I, I, I don't know why they were shady because I, I led so many of y'all to their direction. You feel me? I, and hey, if they were for, for real, for real, I sold a lot of their dang on DVDs. I ain't getting no credit for it. They ain't pay me to do that. I was just coming in to tell y'all what, what the business was. You feel me? So now I'm stuck with all of this after all the weight loss and gained back. Now that I'm gained my weight back, my arms was already flabby here, but now they like, even bigger. You know how when a plus size person, I guess I can consider myself plus size, when you so big and then you lose a lot of weight and then you left with this, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I've seen some bigger people who lost weight and they end up with this old loose skin is what you call it. Loose skin. That's what I got. I got a lot of mo loose skin. Y'all, I'm... Should I be embarrassed? No, because I've been pulled out and I'm still here. I'm not embarrassed. Okay. Oh, I just, this is just what I'm working with, y'all. I'm finna show y'all my belly, so. I feel some type of way, but this is, I'm, I was actually holding my belly in. Like, for real, for real, I was just holding my belly in as good as I could, because um, I be feeling a little bit shame because I'm not used to being this big, but at the same time, I like to keep it 100 with y'all, and y'all help motivate me. If y'all see something wrong, tell me what I can do without exercising, because physically it's kind of hard for me to do all of that right now. Even walking it then became a little struggle with me because of my hips and things. Child, we gonna, whatever. I'm gonna lose this belly fat. 
trust and believe. Um, and I'm gonna start soon. I ain't gonna start today though. I just, <laughs> I'm not gonna start today. I just came on to show y'all how fat I was. Like, okay, so I'm gonna pull my shirt. Pull my shirt up. Y'all see, y'all see the fat on my arms. Just jiggly. Just jiggly. I'm scared to show y'all my belly. <laughs> okay, okay, here you go. Okay. Here go my belly. <laughs> I'm so I'm so ashamed. I shouldn't be this big, like for real. This is all the this ain't loose skin. Cause I wasn't big but this big before I lost the weight. I was big but then I lost weight but then when I gained my weight back it became even more jigglier and <laughs> this is what I look like from the side fat meat here it there everywhere and from the back yeah I still got my badonka donk but <laughs> that's in question too but y'all my booty tight up it ain't kind of more firm girl I ain't, I ain't mad at that but anyway this is what I'm working with now y'all I feel like a fat pig showing y'all all this. But before I start a weight loss journey, <laughs> I need y'all to see what I look like for real, for real. So when I get back fine again, y'all will see how I lost it, how I did it. I have to take y'all through the steps all over again. So y'all keep up with my channel. <sighs> I, got to, I got to be myself be back to my old self as close as I can get. I know can't nobody really go grow backwards. Maybe I can, but I've been through a lot. This this is what you call a setback. You feel me? This is what you call a setback. But I got to get ready to make a comeback. You know, so um, I got to get myself out of the fear of like losing weight because it really was a fear. It still is a fear of me losing weight. It's like, okay, um, I'm, I'm steady going up, up, up on the scale, up on the scale, up <laughs> on the scale. And, and the fear is because, um, you, like I said, they forced it in my head so much when I was taking the chemotherapy therapy to keep eating. In fact, when, when I would be in the chemotherapy room with the rest of the chemo patients, cancer patients, um, they gave us food to eat while we was in there because they wanted us to keep eating. Anyway, child, I don't need nobody to get technical about how they feed us and, and how chemo go and it, all that stuff. Please don't, because I don't want to hear that depresses me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all, that's just, just is what it is. I don't even want to tell y'all how much I weigh right now, but, Lord, I got to lose some weight. And I got to try my best to do it without exercising. And I know this now, like, when I do my arms like this, they like way more flabby. They were never, I always had like a little bit, a little firmness in it, but I was able to like lift weights and do my hand weights and stuff. But now it's like all of that stuff need to be reintroduced to me. If, if at all possible, I can get it reintroduced to me. If I can reintroduce it to myself or I, I might need some, somebody to like physically help me like a trainer or something to get me back in shape and to get my mind right because as of right now I'm still kind of scared to lose weight <laughs> maybe I'm like okay well if I can't lose weight then maybe I could tone up but I don't know y'all but anyways besides all of this fat y'all see I will I still got some tips and tricks on how to look fine even when you ain't <laughs> well, as far as the belly is concerned, um, I might make a video on that and the things I do to still make myself look like, I'm still, I still got like my, my waist to hip ratio is still, my frame is still built that way, but as you guys can see, I got a, I got a belly, like look, I look pregnant, like for real, for real, look at it, look at the profile, that's real belly fat, but I just ate too, so y'all might see me. A little bit smaller because I'm a little bit bloated because I did just eat. Yeah, I did just eat too. So, uh, two? What did I mean to say two? Child, yeah. Yeah, I did just eat. So, I'm a little bit of bloated. Or I'm a little bit of full. So, once I wake up in the morning and I have my my fine belly when I wake up, when I be done ate no food, you know how you be slimmer when you wake up in the morning because all your food doesn't did what it need to do in your body and then you ain't ate yet so you look like you, you know, you, you right till you eat again and <laughs> then you fat. So, yeah, um, 
I still go through that, and it's it's been a long journey, y'all. Y'all, it's been a long journey. Anyways, you guys, I haven't been posting that much because I've been busy doing my bonnets. Like I told you guys in my last couple of videos, I've been busy making my bonnets. This is a Wonder Woman bonnet. If anybody is interested, it will be up on my site soon. I know you guys have seen this bonnet before um, on my site, but this one is bigger than my normal Wonder Woman bonnet. Like I showed you guys, if y'all was in my live, this one is bigger and better. I like this one better. I like the bigger one better. Anyways, I think I'm going to Look, I be getting out of breath because my belly's so fat. Like, I be feeling some type of weight sometimes. And then sometimes I'm like, man, I can't lose weight because they say don't lose weight. You know, I don't, I'm scared of getting sick again and all of that. I don't, I, I can't deal, okay, y'all. It's a mental thing that has been bestowed upon me upon it me so i can't like i'm gonna need a real like mental coach to help me get over the fear of losing weight because i don't want to like be so scared that i keep gaining weight but i'm not gaining weight like rapidly like but every every time i go back to the doctor i've been gained a couple more pounds you know i don't be done lost nothing like each visit all this year i ain't lost a pound i gain a little bit more so and then at times i be thinking are we doing right to like stay just in in my weight area that I was in, I go back to the doctor and they, oh, you gained three more pounds. I'm like, oh my God, every time I keep getting big, but at the same time, I ain't like really doing nothing to stop gaining weight because it's, it's like stuck in my head, girl. Anyways, child, y'all pray for me that I get rid of this, this feeling that I have about losing weight because... Y'all already know I used to be on it. That used to be my thing. But ever since my life kind of changed, I, I kind of went south. And I didn't, like, really want to stand in front of the camera like this no more. Some days I have good days when I feel like I can do, look, I can be fine. But I just ate. I can't be fine. I'm just fat and whatever. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and hearing me complain about how fat I am and I ain't doing nothing about it, alright? Alright then, that's all I gotta say in this video and I will holler at y'all later.